You have to get experience in competing. So um, to be a good competitor. So it's like, it's a, it's a fucking mistake. So many people make, they're like, I'm going to do a competition. I'm like, cool. When are you doing it? They're like, when I'm ready. It's like, no, no sign up. You won't be ready until like your third or fourth competition. Okay. So just get the first few out of the way right now. So it's like the dude, what did he ask? How do you get in the right mindset for competition? Compete. You have to, you know, and like, so it's like, look at Matt Fraser uh, in the CrossFit games. Like he's just a fucking you know, he's just a fucking winner now because he has he, he, he has that competition experience. And now he's got, what, four championships to back it up where it's just like, no, like, like, fuck you. I'm the baddest. Like, because there's self-talk in your head when you're competing. And like for a long time, my self-talk was so negative. It's like, you suck, you suck. You're not good enough. You can't do this. But I was able to like fight through that and train and compete anyways. But now after winning a few things and doing well, my self-talk is like, I'm not an arrogant piece of shit. But when it comes time to competing, I'm out there. I'm like, I'm the fucking best. I'm the fucking baddest. I'm going to fucking win because I fucking work harder than you. I want it more than you. Things like that. And so that comes from getting experience in competition. And you like, cause I used to just, you know, you know, I used to, um, I made all the fucking mistakes. My first few competitions, they're such stupid mistakes, but there's literally no avoiding making the stupid mistakes. You just got to go do it. And so, and I think, um, I think everybody should compete in fitness somehow. Or like, it's like, do, do a Tough Mudder, do a Spartan race, do, do, do something. You know, when we're talking about goals, tangible goals are so much fucking better than I want to lose 50 pounds. Cause it's like losing 50 pounds is, is like, if you're, it's just not fun fixating on that shit, you know? And, and you just, you know, and, and weight fluctuates. And so I see people are like, Hey, I'm down eight pounds. I just gained two pounds. What the fuck? Why did I gain two pounds? It's like, cause body bodies fluctuate, like give or take five pounds, you know, <laughs> like they can. And, uh, and it's just, it's just a boring goal. It, it really is a boring fucking goal saying, I want to lose weight. You know, it's a good goal or like you should want to be, in my opinion, you should want to be healthy and fit, but just saying, I want to lose 50 pounds. It's a boring goal. And like, and I'm being honest because people fail, people fail because they have a boring ass goal. Need the time you, to. Yeah. Yeah. So like short, like, so it's like, that's the beautiful thing. Like sign up for a fucking tough mutter. And once you sign up, you fucking commit, you fucking commit. And so every day becomes every, it, it gives you a motivation that you can't fabricate. Cause now your training session is like, all right, if I don't do this and do it well, I won't be able to perform the way I need to perform come fucking race day, come competition day, things like that. I'm going to be made to look a fool of, you know, I don't want to look silly. I want to go out there and prove to myself that I fucking can do this, you know? So it's like, there's all sorts of local CrossFit competitions. If you do CrossFit, um, sign up for a local competition, do that shit. You know, there's powerlifting meets all over the place, tough mutters, five K's, half marathons, triathlons, things like that. Tangible fucking goals. Like, you know, make it like f find something that's in six, like six months away, sign up for something, sign up. It makes fitness so much more fun. Like purpose driven fitness is so much more fun than just working out clock, you know, checking a box. It's like, it's like a job. You know, you, if you're doing a job that you, if you're, if you have a job that you fucking enjoy, you're excited to go to work, but if you got a shit job and you're just clocking in, clocking out, you're not getting much out of it. You know, that's a miserable fucking life. And so I'm just like, if you want, if you need to lose 50 pounds, good, lose 50 pounds, but do it, have, have the weight loss be like a side effect of the actual goal you're going for. I'm telling you performance driven fitness uh, uh, you know, fitness with a purpose. It's so much better. You're so much more likely to succeed and have a good fucking time. Sign up for a competition or a race. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody asked, how do you break a bad habit with that? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, you do as best you can, you know, everybody has bad habits. You know, you got to pick your poison in this world because, um, people who, people who are just like good, are typically fucking boring and they don't like having me around, you know, like, you know, <laughs> mm. but I don't like, there's, there's bad habits, you know, um, I'll tell you what, if this is a fitness show, if you're out there drinking pop or eating fast food, 
that's got to go. A bad habit's got to go, right? You know, like at least alcohol makes you drunk. And, you know, I only drink on like Fridays or Saturdays. I don't drink as much as people think I do, but I definitely enjoy drinking when I do. But it's like you pick your poison, right? So no fucking, no fucking pop, no fucking fast food, no goddamn potato chips or just snacking, snacking during the day. Bad habit. Gotta go. Eat good food. I just hit the microphone. But anyway.